Oh, oh I'm still running. Oh, she is still ticking. Okay, the bike tires are... Want to keep up with the latest Komodo Gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Beam and G Drive. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be doing something just a wee bit different. So, I've had a lot of comments as of recently, and apparently amongst the Beam and G Drive uh, YouTube community, uh, it's been fairly popular to uh, replace your wheels with bicycle tires. And I don't exactly understand why you would want to do it, but I actually think it might be kind of cool. So we're going to be doing kind of an all over the place episode here today. We're going to be checking that out, see how it handles. And we're back on a map that is called, I believe it's Dead End or Dead Zone. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to check out on the channel again. We kind of played with it a little bit, but we really only ran one jump. And I must say it has probably one of the most awesome off-road sections that I've ever seen. Plus it's got this sweet tunnel which I don't think we've ever attempted to play with. So we're going to be doing that here today. It's going to be an all over the place episode. We are going to attempt the traffic tool here too uh, because I do believe there is a road that we can go fully around and maybe we'll get a police chase with the bicycle tires. But I'm going to provide a link down below for the bicycle tires. They're in a uh, off-road tire pack. And I'll provide a link for the map that you see here. Alright, so it is time to go here. So YBR's done it, Spears has done it. I think it's time that we do it. I guess we better do a little control test. How does this car handle without bicycle tires? I mean, obviously the width of a tire on a bicycle is really, really, really thin. So I don't know how this is actually going to work. Uh, but yep, this handles about as you'd expect it. Handles great. Love this little car here. Uh, too bad we're about to ruin the car because, yeah, that's going to be not pretty at all. So, in order to change the tires, which this is really for all the noobs in uh, Beam and G, which I still kind of consider myself still quite a bit of a noob, but uh, I can go into here. We're going to go to Vehicle Configuration. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the, uh, do the little drop down here. We're going to go down to the front suspension, and we'll go down to front wheels. And it's simply going to be under Bicycle Tire. This is a horrible idea. All right, there it is there. And let it load in. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Why would you do this? Why? It sets a little higher off the ground. That is ridiculous looking. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and change the backs real quick and we're gonna give this a little test. Okay, from everybody's opinion, do you think this thing's gonna handle worse or better? Uh, I'm gonna go with worse. Hold on. Oh, okay. It's got an odd amount of pickup, but there is like no rear grip. You can hear the tires screeching. This is stupid. This is really, really stupid. Okay. Oh, wait. Did it just blow out one of them? There's like no air in these. It's basically just rubber and rim. Oh, let's go ahead and get this back going. All right. So we're driving on the baby roads right now. I think we should actually go take this on one of the extreme roads uh, to see if we can handle this. I mean, it's not like uber terrible but it's not great actually it's really not great all right let's go uh, find an extreme road here all right so apparently there's like a banked oval around here we're gonna try this out i uh, also did want to ask you guys do you like these kind of screw around episodes where it's not like really objective based where we just get to play around with random things uh let me know but you know do i think this is gonna actually grip the track uh it might I wonder if there's multiple lanes on this. Can we spawn AI? Oh, it's sliding down the bank. It does not have enough speed. No, <laughs> no. Okay, can confirm that that doesn't work. Okay, the only thing I can think of trying is maybe starting back here. Maybe we just didn't have enough speed to stick to the banking. Or was it truly a tire situation? You know, we might actually stick the normal tires. Oh, that was a bad spawn. Yeah, we might stick those normal tires back on to see if maybe it's just a... Uh, Maybe it is a grip situation, I don't know. Alright, we're definitely going to have more speed this time. Stop spinning, you stupid tires. And here we go. Oh, you know we got to go up that on the left side here in a second. Alright, this is looking good. Alright, we're going to get up to... We'll hit it going about 80. Uh, let's stay towards the upper part of the banking. Less turning here. Alright, here we go. Uh, how is this even possible? Is this physics? Is this, uh oh, it's sliding, it's sliding, it's sliding. Come on, come on. No, why is it, why does the car hit the brakes by itself? All right, you know what? 
probably not high performance enough. Let's go grab something just a wee bit faster and attempt this. All right, here we go. I think we're done with a little bit more power here. Let's go ahead and light it. Oh, oh no, oh no. You know, more power might actually, uh, that might actually be a little bit worse. Uh, he's trying to get those back wheels to hook up. All right, come on, come on, come on. There we go, all right, full speed. Oh, we got the speed. Question is, do we have the handling here? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, we're gonna burn it up before anything. It's spinning those tires. Come on, don't blow on me, engine. Oh, it skids. Oh, this is stupid. This is actually great, though. I, I enjoy this until we blow the engine here. Oh, this is insanity. Okay, we proved with enough speed you can handle it with the bike tires. And what's that noise? I'm assuming that's the engine, not the bike tires making that noise. Uh, they look like they're kind of wobbly, doesn't it? All right, you know what? Come on, make it one lap. Oh, we're losing speed. Oh, engine is killed. Overheat it. Oh, we're still rolling. Still rolling. All right, so, you know, to be honest, it doesn't feel that bad. Bicycle tires isn't as ridiculous as it seems. I mean, is it practical and would it work in real life? Probably not, but eh, not bad. All right, if we're gonna go nutty with it, we might as well go all out. We're gonna try to make it up the big tunnel there. For some reason, this tunnel doesn't have a big lead up to it, which is a little disappointing, but all right, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, how are you supposed to make it up this? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, this is definitely not gonna work. Definitely not a thing. Definitely not a, what the heck? Are you supposed to go down the tunnel or up the tunnel? Hold on, is there an entryway? Oh, there is an entryway up here. How does that work? I, I'm trying to figure this out. What would stick to this tunnel? Oh, we might have something beyond bike tires here. Uh, I got one more thing I want to try out. You know what? We are going to spawn in the AI real quick and attempt to chase. Do they have a full circuit around here? I believe they do, so they should be okay. All right, let's spawn them in real quick. Test them out. We'll do a quick chase, and then we're going to figure that tunnel out. I think a Formula One car might have enough downforce to stick to that, and it might have the power. All right, we're ready to go here. Let's go ahead and activate the police. We're going to let them go about their merry way up there. All right, so we're gonna break the law. Oh no. This thing, this is a, it's not bad if you just roll into the throttle. Now, if you try to mash it, yeah, it's pretty much game over for the tires. Like you're gonna spin them like that. But that is not very good. Where are the police? You know, I don't like the, oh! <laughs> wow, really? All right, you know, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna let the police come around to us. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It took him a second, you guys. Are you? Oh, they are chasing me, Hans. Get away from this pole. All right, let's go, 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 go. All right, we do have the police aggroed on us. Okay, remember, don't hit it too hard. Don't hit it too hard. Oh, man, we had to lead him up that funky road and onto the oval or something. Oh boy. No, 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 how in the heck is this car still running? Okay, it's fine. Okay, through the trees, through the trees. Uh, okay. Yeah, this thing is tough. You know what? I'm gonna give those bike tires a passing grade here. Look how they held up. It doesn't feel much different. Oh, geez, is this is a dead end. Uh oh, okay, spin it around. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on. Sounds like it's trying to die on me. No, 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 okay. Oh, look at that. One of the cops just took himself out on a pole. All right, let's keep evading. There's one on the right side, so they're gonna respawn here really shortly. All right, let's see if we can get moving. Yeah, these things do not turn at high speed, but dang, they're holding up pretty well. Guys, I think my vehicle's dying. Oh, great, here are the cops, here are the cops, okay. Oh, I'm still running. Oh, she is still ticking. Okay, the bike tires are officially OP. Any other tire would have been wrecked by now. Uh-oh. Oh, speaking of wrecked. No, 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 they're gonna pin me. Uh, he hasn't stopped yet. He hasn't stopped. Are you serious? I lost because I got pinned against a pole? That almost seems wrong. But look at this. It still runs. Like, how much damage is on the vehicle? The wheels are barely even affected. Wow. Okay, that is one result I did not expect from this whole little experiment. So, can confirm, bicycle tires are actually pretty legit. <laughs> All right. Well, 
I've got some other fun things I want to do around this map. All right, so we're ready to try some Formula One action out here, and oh, feel the grip, feel the power. Oh, this is perfect. Uh oh, this might not be perfect. I'm not really sure. Uh, you know what? Do you guys think we're gonna actually be able to grip all the way up that tube? Uh, if we could, man, if it had a better running start, I would say for sure yes. But I'm not quite convinced. Hold on, let's go up this road. This should take us, I think, to the top. So let's get up on it. There we go. Oh, okay, watch, watch the power. This thing's got a ton of power to the back wheels. Get to wait for it to, get away for it to hook up. And there we go. Oh, that is sweet. Oh man. Okay, okay. Oh, there's a little bump in the road. No, that's a jump. Are you serious? I was like, man, I can't see over this. It's a blind hill. No, it's because there is no, there's no hill there. Ah, right, well, we're close enough, I think. So, could we enter in from the top and try to grip? I really wish there was like a, an angle uh, that we could hit to get this thing to kind of slide down. What if we were to launch that way? Like, launch off, aim for a wall. All right, let's try it real quick. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Attach yourself. No, no, oh, oh, no. No, no, not at the butt. Oh, what is that? Is that supposed to be like a spike pit? I don't understand. All right, you know what? We're gonna have to do the run up here. This is the only way we can prove that this might or might not work. You know, we could try that fast car or the world's fastest BMG car. I don't know if we could get it hooked up in there though. All right, let's try the Formula One car real quick. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, uh, you gotta ease in on the dirt here. All right, here comes the asphalt. All right, let's get some grip. All right, gas it, gas it, gas it, gas it, gas it. Look at it, look at it, look at it, yes! Okay, so Formula One car does have enough grip to do this. This is a little ridiculous looking. All right, look at that, that is fantastic. We don't even need the fastest car. We've totally got this, huh? What's the cockpit look like? Uh, oh, yes. That is cool looking. So, how many circuits can we make in here? Is it just until we uh, we run out? Pretty sure. Oh, uh oh, 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 we do that. That's going to be, uh, oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, those are trees. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, we missed the trees. Hey, look at that. The pod held up really well. And also, I forgot there's tethers on the tires, so they actually kind of stay on sometimes. That was beautiful, I must say. I don't know if you're going to get that result with anything else. All right, so we're not done with that whole mountain section. I feel like there's an off-road challenge there, but we must prove the might of the Formula One car some more. So we have to see, can it complete this? Oh, for sure it can. Why does this not actually circuit around is my question. Like, man, if that was a complete track, that would be really, really sweet. So if we were to start, oh, right here, look at that, it's the perfect run-up. Can Komodo complete this with the Formula One car is the question, though. All right, here we go. So, here comes this big sky track section. DRS is open. All right, let's gas it up all the way. All right, ooh, yeah, we could totally get this. Oh, look at the shaking of the wing. On, on, up, 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 oh, oh, yes. Yes, all right, we got one more loop here. Oh, wait. So you want to tell me that maybe the Formula One car sets a little low to the ground and maybe just caught on that? That almost seems unfair. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do this with the Formula One. What the heck? Was it just that side? If I hit that right side, is that okay? Oh, let's try it again. All right, here we are once again. You know, let's go uh, on board here. There we go. It's almost like the T-Post cam. All right, so we need to aim for the right side there. Uh, it's like a roller coaster. Oh, geez. Okay, right side, right side, right side. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's not a good sign to see a uh, Formula One car get a little bit of air and perfect. Perfect. Except for the whole fact that the track ends and we are going into the water. Dang it. I really wish that went a little further. What the heck is this? Oh, this is a train. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a train that can go on this. Well, we completed that track. Can we complete something like this? Is this two tracks or one track? I think this is too. I can't even really tell. Uh, let's uh, hook the Formula One car up over here. All right, folks, this one might be a little more tense than the big loops because this one's got a lot more to it. All right, here we go. Oh, this is not a very wide track, okay? 
Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot what happens when the Formula One actually gets in the air. It kind of takes off weird. It's that uh, upside down wing there. <laughs> uh, if you flip these down, or if you flip them over, it seems like they do produce lift instead of the downforce. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Now this is a time where Komodo went from looking like a hero, and he's starting to look a little bit like a zero here. This is not good. All right, we're gonna give this one more. Yeah, man, the off camber turn there. Like, if you're not already like steering hard left, like there's no way to actually counter that. Like right there, man, it just pulls it. All right, I'm not happy until I get this done. All right, here it comes again. Okay, uh, man, I don't like that at all. Oh, yes, no, I was gonna try to land. Oh, we're in the water again. No, we are on land. All right, so we should probably save that course for a, a little other, uh... All right, so we should probably save that other section for a little bit different test. Now, the last thing before we go to the off-road section, we do have several ramps here on this course. We've got a backflip ramp, which I don't know what that means for a Formula One car. I'm pretty sure that that is such an aggressive angle, it'd probably just snap the wing off. You've got a pretty straight vertical ramp. you got a little shorter one. We're going to hit the really straight-up one and see what happens. We need speed, though. We need a lot of it. All right, here we go. We're aiming for the right side. Let's go and gas it up all the way. Sweet. All right, so we're going to get a lot of speed here. What is going to happen? Uh, I don't know. Is there a way to keep the DRS open? Oh! <laughs> we are now an airplane. Engine shut off. We're, we're Actually, we're a glider right now. Well, it's kind of gliding. Oh, no, this is going to hurt. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, uh, I could watch a Formula One car destroy itself all day. Like, honestly, it's one of the greatest sights I've ever seen. Whew. Magnificent. All right, let's go to the off-road section. All right, so another part of this mod that I do want to try out as far as the tires, there are some off-road variants of the tire. Uh, right now, I'm on the LKS. I believe I'm saying that right. It's LKS truck. Uh, this thing is on the default tires it comes with. Uh, we're going to see how it handles here. So we've got a bit of a uh, little bit of an off-road course to hit. So let's go and hop up over here. There we go. We're going to go over the bridge. There's a little... Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay. Ah, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That is not looking good for us. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my lack of driving skill, we're going to go ahead and hop up here. All right. I want to use a little bit more throttle here, see if we can get up this, but I want to slide the tires. There we go. All right, so we're beyond that. All right, let's gas it up real hard here. Oh, beautiful. No, no, we're losing traction, losing traction. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, what was that? That looked like a mud guard, possibly, or a flap. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. Oh, man. I need to find more maps like this, like these type of trial maps. Yeah, these things are awesome. Wait, is this thing actually flexing? Oh, it does flex. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it leans left and right. It's shaking a little bit. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. We're good. We're good. This is like the bridge of death here. Uh, this is an impossible off-road challenge, okay. It, I think it gets a little better towards the ends. It doesn't sway as much, I think. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to guess it, but I know it's going to be bad. Okay. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's terrible. All right, and guess it. All right, there we go. Woo. All right, we're up over that. Okay, so we need to end up at the tunnel, so let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of run up here. There we go, back up. This is a pretty clean run, actually, except for the first attempt. All right, do we have enough speed here? That way we can get over, oh, there we, no, no! No, it's not going down like this. It's not going down, oh, it is going down like this. Are you serious? That doesn't even look like that bad of a jump, and I screwed that up. Is it possible, Han? I had to have screwed that up on my own. Like, that can't be a lack of run-up here. I'm so glad we didn't actually try to uh, turn it immediately. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and go. Whoop. All right, full speed. Uh... Oh! 
It is so close, even with a really, really big run-up. Jeez. All right. Do we think we can drive this down? You know what? I might be able to get that wheel to hop up on the wall. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it went sideways. Oh, yeah, that's totally how you're supposed to go down this Komodo. Yeah, great job. Oh, yes. Yep, there's the engine. Yeah, that looked like it hurt. You know, I don't think I've seen this thing, like, fully crushed. Uh, that didn't even do it, and that was a pretty big drop. Oh, man, you know, that was still pretty good. I'm gonna give myself a C plus. Now, question is, if we change the tires to the trial ones, does it make it any bit better? I don't know, maybe it does. All right, so we're gonna switch the tires up. I've got it. What the heck? I don't think that's gonna do us any bit better. Uh, that's the show off, 19 by 11 front wheel. The LKS has quite a few. There's a grip all. Let's see. What is a grip all? Uh, 17 by 9. Uh, okay. You know what? It says grip all. We're going to trust that it grips better. So, the question is does it actually grip better? I don't think it's going to make any bit of a difference. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe the main difference maker is going to be the, uh, the little run up to the jump. Maybe I can get that off road, just real good traction, and try to actually clear it. Because technically, I have not cleared it legit yet. And actually, it's running really well up this. Holy man. Oh, that's actually good. Jeez. Okay. Oh, uh, no. I don't know if I'm actually feeling much of a difference, or maybe it isn't. But I don't know. It feels like there's something here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hop up on this. Uh, I don't really know how that works in BMG. Do the different tires... Obviously, the bikes have a different grip. Uh, factor, but does some of the off-road tires, like say if you had like snow tires, does it actually help? Um, maybe I'm just, oh no! <laughs> no, I was getting a little too cocky there. You know what? We're going to set past where I, uh, where the real test is going to actually be, and that's going to be right here. And then of course I spawn it where it's like off the uh, side of the mountain there. There we go. That's fine. Alright, so, question is, <laughs> can you stop doing that? Really? There we go. All right, so are we going to finally clear this is the question. All right, here we go. Gas. Still feeling a lot of wheel spin here. But is it enough? Is it enough? Yes! Oh, I cleared it. Okay, and uh, let's try this. No, I still can't make this work. I cannot make this work in the off-road truck. Ouch! You know what? We're going to call that good enough there. We're really here for the bicycle tires, not for Komodo's grip factor going down the... Uh, old tunnel with the off-road truck, even though we did prove that the Formula One does work relatively well with that. So, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of BMG Drive. Kind of a really random all-over-the-place episode, but I kind of want to do some more of these with some of the maps, because unfortunately, I get on some of these maps and I ignore a lot of the really, really cool features on them and, like, do, like, a police chase. So, I felt the need to actually test this thing out. So, anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time on BMG Drive. <laughs>